Hello, my name is Jessica Rosen, and I am an intern at the Picker Art Gallery at Colgate University, class of 2022. The artwork that I am discussing today is called Painting with St. Sebastian, figure number one, created in 1984 by Jim Morphesis. The subject of this artwork is St. Sebastian. St. Sebastian is believed to have been martyred during the persecution of Christians in Rome around 288. He was tied to a tree and shot by arrows for converting Roman soldiers to Christianity. He was then rehabilitated by a pious widow and presented himself to the emperor, who beat him to death. His martyrdom has been popularized by numerous Renaissance painters, who often show him as a handsome youth, pierced by arrows. What first drew me to this artwork are the luminescent colors and the three-dimensional aspects of the composition. Morphesis constructs this piece from discarded wood found in trash piles. He uses materials that have their own histories, adding another layer of complexity to the context of this iconographic image. The clear laborious construction of the wood, the placement, the cutting, the unequal edges, and the rough splintering all call attention to this work existing outside the bounds of a traditional canvas. Morphesis depicts Saint Sebastian in an upright position with a stoic look on his face. The saint is enduring torture without showing any sentiment. Saint Sebastian's sense of calm in this chaotic and expressive work creates an interesting contrast for the viewer. His head tilts down, perhaps in grim acceptance, but not drooping in defeat. His body is strong, there is no arching of pain, he is standing as a hero before his audience. The size of the work is quite large, conveying Saint Sebastian's status as a holy figure destined for heaven, a figure larger than mortal life. At the same time, this rugged depiction of Saint Sebastian represents the struggle to survive while remaining loyal to tradition. White and purple pigments craft St. Sebastian's face while his body bursts with electric colors that render the image otherworldly. St. Sebastian's chest, torso, and left arm light up with yellow hues that make him glow. The image is chaotic, dripping, splashing, covering, uncovering, and scratching. Painting with St. Sebastian Figure number one is a story about reformulating religious painting by altering the materials and techniques used. Morphesis creates a formal religious icon of St. Sebastian in an expressive, colorful, and passionate way. His use of gold leaf puts this work in conversations with Renaissance works that traditionally used gold leaf to represent the holy with halos. At the same time, it also breaks away from these works by using gold leaf informally, embedded within the work so that it is impossible to pin down its exact locations in this large scale jumble of wood and cardboard. Morphesis's surface, it's outside the bounds of the traditional two-dimensional painting and into something much harder to contain. The piece itself looks as though Morphesis truly did have a battle with it. There are layers of strife, agony, and clear labor. The physical breakage of the canvas highlights the breakaway from traditional realism in religious paintings, and yet, Morphesis' work is a religious icon in the 20th century, which has roots stemming from the Renaissance. Morphesis' work is of pain, of process, of humanity, and of questioning if there is something greater. As Morphesis stated, if they feel some of the passionate involvement, they are getting something of me.